What an absolutely gorgeous day to go diving. Sun's out, nice calm water. But it's 33 degrees. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and it is cold outside. It is 33 degrees this morning when I woke up and I'm headed out in the lake to do a little bit of diving and obviously I'm going to be diving in a dry suit. So I thought I'd make a video for you guys talking about dry suit undergarments and why we wear what we do to stay warm. Now I'm going to be showing you my personal undergarments that I wear underneath the two different types of dry suits that I wear. I'm not really going to go into brand specific because your decision to pick up an undergarment is going to be based off your local dive center and what they sell and also based off what type of suit you wear or manufactured suit because a lot of manufacturers are making undergarments that are specific to their suits as well. So with that being said, let's get started. The two types of dry suits that I wear, of course, is a neoprene dry suit and a tri-laminate dry suit. And I actually prefer them both. One I prefer to work in, the other one I prefer just to dive in. So with that being said, I'm going to have different undergarments as well. We're going to actually start with a neoprene suit because the neoprene dry suit is probably one of my favorites. It's very flexible. It's form fitting. It is custom to me, but I also like it because of just how warm it is. And since it does double as a wetsuit in the event that it does leak, now I'm going to have an insulated barrier of neoprene around my skin as well. So I really like the neoprene dry suit for that. With that being said, I don't necessarily have to wear a lot of thick undergarments. I really only have two set of undergarments that I wear with it based off how cold the water is or where I'm diving. Now the first set of undergarments is just a pair of long john pants and a t-shirt and a pair of socks. And it's really simple. It's just what anybody would wear during the wintertime under their clothes. That's what I'm going to wear in the neoprene dry suit as well. Now if it is a little bit colder, I will put on an ultra skin suit. Now an ultra skin is an alternative to your basic neoprene. It's still going to be a breathable layer of neoprene, but it's got a fleece lining inside and it's not that thick as well. So it's going to be flexible and it's going to allow me to move in my neoprene dry suit just as if I was wearing, say, a wetsuit as well. So I really like that for my neoprene dry suit. Now, for my tri laminate dry suit, it's a little bit different though. I actually have two different suits that I wear for it as well. I actually find myself in the summertime diving a dry suit quite a bit because I do a lot of salvage work and public safety work. And with that being said, I have to be in a dry suit to do my public safety work. So if the water temps say 85 to 90 degrees in the middle of the summer, I may only be going 10 foot deep. But if I'm, re say, retrieving evidence or getting a car out of the lake or something like that, I still have to have a dry suit for that. And I really prefer my tri-laminate suit because it's still going to be flexible enough for me to move around and it's going to give me the right amount of protection from any type of hazmatic material that I'm typically diving in. So with that being said, I like a thin undergarment and I'll typically wear just a single piece or a two piece single layered fleece suit. And it's basically just fleece pants, fleece tops, and that's typically what I'll wear if it's warm. Now, if I'm diving in a little bit colder environments or even here in the middle of the winter time, I'll wear a jumpsuit that is a dual layer fleece jumpsuit. It means there's two layers of fleece that are about say a quarter inch piece. So that gives me about a half inch of fleece material on my body to actually protect me and to keep me warm. Now it's very important based off whether you're using a neoprene or a tri-laminate or even a vulcanized rubber suit. And I didn't really mention that in this video simply because vulcanized rubber suits are not really meant for comfort. They're simply meant to protect you say from that hazmatic environment. But it doesn't really matter what type of dry suit you wear. One of the important features to say a undergarment system is that it's breathable. If it does its job properly, you're going to get warm. You're going to get extremely warm and you're probably going to be sweating inside your dry suit. And that's something that you actually don't want to do because as you expert that liquid away from you, if you will, you're going to be cold when you come out of the water or you could be actually cold during the dive. So you want a suit that is very breathable that's going to wick that moisture away. All the suits that I wear are wicking materials and it's going to wick that moisture away from my body. 
But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you a better understanding of how undergarments work and why we got to have undergarments in a dry suit. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Guys, if you want to see future videos on cold water diving and what we do, the gloves we wear, the hoods we wear, the boots that we wear, and why we do it, drop me a comment down below and let me know if you're a dry suit diver, what's your favorite type of dry suit, and what type of undergarment you wear as well. Guys, I really hope you appreciate this video. And if you did, simply smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.